How do people see you? What do others think about you? And what do they say? Would you like to lead more, win more, and earn more? Hi, I'm Zach Memis, and in this episode of Beyond Tech, I'm going to share with you how and why personal branding is easier than you think. You know, it's very important that the right people see the right thing about you. There are so many people and so much clutter out there that standing apart is very important. Developing your own special brand is essential, but how? Let's start with what personal branding is. It is the intentional effort to create and influence public perception of you while positioning yourself as an authority in your industry and career by elevating credulity and differentiating yourself from the competition. Whew. You are unique. Your life experience is unique. So how do we get there? Here are three steps to start us on this personal branding journey. Number one, be self-aware. Ask people you know and trust what it's like experiencing you as a friend, a colleague, a leader, and so on. Ask yourself, is the personal brand you have right now the most accurate and impactful one for you? What are you really passionate about? What do you love doing? What do you think your strongest attributes are? What sets you apart from others? And what do you excel at? Finally, how do you want to be defined as? Now here's some homework. Come up with a two-minute story of your life. An elevator pitch, if you will. Give it a try. Number two, telling your story with your life. Here is where you provide proof that you are what you say you are. Never fake your personal brand and never fake the true authentic you. The story of your life is unique to you and from it comes background that colors your world. Others will want to share in your world. Here are three additional points to remember about telling your story with your life. Use positive attention gating. Here is proof you are what you say you are, giving evidence of work well done and how your skill set can help others. Your relevant benefit to the world. Be the kind of person that tries to benefit others and not uses others to benefit themselves. And being memorable. Your true authentic self is more memorable than you think. So share your story. It's not about you. It's about how others know you to be. That's right. Now, number three, deepen your relationships. Establishing relationships takes time and effort, but it will be infinitely easier if you remember to recognize and anticipate the needs of those around you. Doing for others, being a servant leader, and so on. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Now, there's another school of thought regarding personal branding that states you should look at yourself as if you were a product made up of specific skills, experiences, specialisms, personal qualities, and interests that make you unique. Then you would look for your target audience, which would be people that work in your field, career area, and people that would employ you. In other words, personal branding is like being in sales. You are selling you. And what should you hope for in return? Others' attention, respect, and money. Now we'll talk about reputation because it's a huge part of your personal branding. And with great reputation comes better jobs. So how do you build a good reputation? Number one, box it up. Put all your best qualities in a virtual box. What it is about you that is special and unique? What is your true character and what are your deepest values? Put all your experiences in this box and add your competencies. And now that you have a better idea of what your personal brand is, this too goes in the box. Number two, build a network. Remember that a network is who you know and reputation is who knows you. Reach out to others with the knowledge that you have value, you, you are worth respect, and you are worth remembering. Number three, raise your profile. Become a speaker, write stories or blogs to share your ideas. Use social media platforms to elevate your profile and be consistent. Remember, you are what you post. Number four, be authentic. Be great at being you. Be yourself because everyone else is taken. Remember your box and all your qualities, stories, experiences, values, and character that makes you, you. Personal branding is taking who you truly are and sharing that with others. Be memorable, be available, and be authentic. Remember that the first impression you create will inform people how you want to be treated. Now, what if you fail? Don't worry, because how you react to that failure will be the sustainability of your personal brand. We fall. But getting back up is what defines us. At any rate, start living what's in you right now, and your own personal brand will be in demand. Now, if you have any additional tips on personal branding, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more episodes of Beyond Tech from Joe and I every week. I'm Zach Memes. 
and thanks for watching and learning.